Playing in a tournament is a rite of passage for every American Mahjong player. If you're avoiding playing in a tournament because you have to play a fast game, don't let that stop you. Get your set out and practice at home by doing an exercise I call Charleston Sprints. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. When I do Charleston sprints, my goal is to make decisions in under two minutes as an advanced player. If you are an intermediate player, try to make decisions in under three minutes as an average. If you're a beginner, four minutes should be the max. Then practice and whittle down your time till you get to that two minute mark. If you can make decisions in under two minutes during the Charleston, you'll be ready for a tournament. Let me know if you decide to practice at home and how it goes for you. I'm gonna use this stopwatch app on my iPhone. You can use any stopwatch though. We're gonna do five laps. Laps one, three, and five are going to be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up in between. We're gonna say we're the dealer, so I'm gonna get 14 tiles each time and make a mock Charleston. Okay, nines. Six, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, joker bait. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, let's break this up. Let's pass those three. Six, seven, eight, nine, consecutive run. There's a flower and a six and an eight. We're left with a pear and a white dragon. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, six, eight. Let's give up the six. I really don't like passing white dragons. There's an eight and we have two ones. Let's give up, let's keep that six and pass this one, those three. Seven, we have a pair there. Let's give up the six, pass those three. Seven, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, we have toss pass. If you get a joker, just exchange it. There's a seven. Seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight. Or like numbers with eights. Let's give up on the nine and pass these three. Exchange. Joker bait. Nope, let's break it up. Do a full pass. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah. lap okay so here we have four discards and we have seven eight we could play like numbers with sevens i think or seven eight consecutive run concealed with the flower or we could maybe even play like numbers with eights depending on which came in Maybe even hold the nine, seven, eight, nine. If we get jokers, we could maybe even play a quint. I'd start by discarding those three. So I'd say three discards with options, not bad. Let's go on to the next one. No pairs at all. We do have a flower, west red, three, six, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, eight, nine, 
Let's pass these three and see what happens. This is a rough start. There's a six and a six, three, six, nine. I was kind of feeling three, six, nine. Let's hold the dragon and pass these three. Flower. We'll pass those three. Threes. Three, six, nine. Three, six, six, nine. Or three, six, nine in one suit, maybe with dragons. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Oh, let's go ahead and pass these three. Nine, flower. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Three, six, nine. I would risk passing like numbers. Look how close we are. Lap. Okay, we have four or three discards. This would be probably the very first hand under three, six, nine. Three flowers, pair of six threes, pung of sixes, pair of nines, and then a Kong. This hand is set. All we need to do is Pung here, Kong here, be ready on a nine. That was a really good Charleston. Three discards for three, six, nine. Okay, one more. Consecutive run four five six seven three four five six. Okay, we can't keep it all. Four five four five. Four five. Let's give up the seven. Maybe we could even play a quint. Four five six. Nope, not passing like numbers. Let's pass these three. Three four five six. There's a four. We have tiles we can pass here. Three, four. Three, four. Let's see. Three, four. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Four, five, four, five, four, five. That's kind of weird. That's what we had last time. Three, four, five, six. Let's give up the four and the five. Five. Let's pass these three. Oh, white dragon. Let's pass these three. Five. Six. Keep the six. Pass these three. Change six, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to pass a pair. Let's pass two. Okay, three discards. Three, four, five, six. This hand is set. Second hand down. Pung, pung, kong, kong. Three, four, five, six. Three discards. Okay, let's see how things went with our timing. Whew, these exercises really do keep you on your toes. I hope you decide to give it a try. For the timing, sprint one, one minute 58. Sprint two, one minute 55. Sprint three, one, two. Oh, I messed it up. Okay, we'll just average the two because I messed it up and I was under two minutes. Okay, I don't know what happened to my timer. Make sure you click the buttons right <laughs> or you'll mess up the exercise. 
the goal should be an average of two minutes, three minutes, or four minutes respectively for advanced, intermediate beginners. Take an average and see how you do. Let me know if you decide to give this a try and if it helps your game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now, and the next set of Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.